Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very, very long time. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how to start this video, but I do want to mention, first of all, the only reason I'm filming this is because I'm getting asked a lot of questions now and I am planning on starting to create some online content again in the very near future and doing some work. So I don't want to just come back out of nowhere and just pretend nothing's happened and ignore your questions. I think that would be weird. So that is the reason why I'm doing it. And also if I can raise some awareness um, regarding the situation that we've been through and what others go through, then that's always a bonus as well. But I don't want anyone to feel sorry for us. It's not why I'm not filming this video for attention or for anyone to feel sorry for us at all. I'm just kind of explaining where I've been so it's not awkward when I start creating content again. I don't even know how to start this. So to put it simply, um, I was pregnant as most of you saw through my social media last year and our baby was due um, at the end of January. So we did have a baby boy and to put it simply, he was born with an undiagnosed rare heart condition. Basically your heart has two sides and it has four main vessels and there's two on each side and the two on the left side are supposed to deliver oxygen rich blood from the lungs back to the heart. In most cases of TAPVD, those vessels join or they go off to the wrong side and so your um, heart is not getting the oxygen rich blood back to it, to put it simply. In our son's case, his not only did that, it formed this very weird path, curly whirly vessels went right up to God knows where and it was a real sort of shock to the surgeons to see the path that they'd taken. It was something they've never seen before. So his heart surgery was quite complex. I know I will get asked this question, so I will explain. Nothing was detected during my pregnancy because my system was supporting him and his oxygen requirements. So whenever I would go to get um, scans or, you know, they check for the heartbeat, check for oxygen or whatever it might be, everything was always in normal range. So there was no reason to think that anything was wrong through my pregnancy. I had a normal labor. I had a 14 hour labor. I went and got fish and chips when my contraction started and I had a natural labor apart from the last couple of contractions. He needed some help with the vacuum. When he came out, his oxygen was low and so he went to the oxygen chamber and I wasn't really worried at that point because I know a lot of people who have had babies that need a little bit of support with oxygen when they first come out, um, including family members, really close friends. A lot of people have had that happen to them. So I really wasn't worried at that stage. Overnight, it got worse. We got taken to a bigger hospital. Um, they found air on his lung. They got rid of that. We thought, great, that's fixed. Next day, needed more oxygen got sent down to Brisbane to the children's hospital and he had to have surgery on day three of his life. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with exactly what we've been through. I'm not going to show you any pictures because that's not my story to tell. That's our son's story and he can choose to tell that how he would like as he gets older. But I will say that it's one of the most traumatic and unbelievable experiences that I've ever been through and we're one of the lucky ones and I know that sounds weird but there are eight babies every day sorry I just get really emotional because congenital heart disease in Australia is one of the leading deaths in babies and there's eight babies born every single day in Australia with some form of congenital heart disease. And four of those, Jesus, I thought I was going to be really fine for this video. And four babies a week don't make it. The statistics are actually really bad. And if you would like to help, you can donate to Heart Kids. Um, you can also join their Two Feet and a Heartbeat walk, which most mostly will be done virtually because of the COVID thing going on at the moment. But I'll leave links to everything down below. And if you would like to help them in any way, 
I would greatly appreciate that. So I've been away for a really long time. We were in and out of intensive care for four to five months. Um, the reason for that is you go shutting down a major organ like the heart when a baby is so young and most of the time you're going to end up with some sort of complication. There's fluid issues, there's, you know, it affects other organs because they've been shut down and unfortunately um, we were one of the ones who had pretty much most complications that you get told may arise we had. Um, some people are worse off, some people are in intensive care for a year and their kids need kidney or liver transplants as a result of the surgery injuring those organs. Um, so yes, we've been through a really shit experience, but there are so many people going through even worse situations than us. So we just feel so blessed to be um, at home with our little guy and he is doing really well. Uh, we do have some ongoing issues, but they're, you know, things that we're working through at the moment. So I think I'm actually just going to leave it at that for this video. Um, basically, that's where I've been. I wanted to give you some awareness of congenital heart disease within Australia and I know in other countries as well. It is unfortunately quite common and it's something that you never think you'll go through until you go through it. And then you hear of so many other people going through the same thing. So these kids are just heroes and the surgeons and the cardiologists and the nurses that support them the things that they see and go through every day as well i just have to say that all of them are heroes and deserve our support now i do have some content coming up but if you would like to request anything from me uh, that you would like to see please feel free to comment down below or head over to my instagram or facebook and let me know what you would like to see. I'm a little bit busier than I was before I had our baby and we do have a lot of appointments and things that we're working through, but I do have some content coming up. Um, however, it won't be as consistent as it was before I had the baby. So that's where I've been. I uh, hope I didn't waffle on too much. I don't even really know what I said, to be honest. It's a very awkward video to film, but anyway, I've done it now and I can start creating some content again so thank you so much for watching and catching up with me on where I've been and I look forward to seeing you all again really soon please take care bye bye